Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a colonial home in the mid-Atlantic colonies. I take one finger on the bottom on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line all the way across to the right. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw one straight line down, connect, straight line over, straight line down, connect. We're going to do a series of rectangles. I come right above on the left and I'm going to draw another straight line down, straight line across, straight line down, connect. I come all the way up to the top and I'm going to put two fingers and in the center I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw straight line to the left, straight line to the right. Now I'm going to make a sharp diagonal down on the left, connect and a sharp diagonal down, connect on the right. I come back up to the top and I'm going to draw a straight line across on the top and then I'm going to put straight lines inside going across. Keep going. And in the center I'm going to draw another rectangle and then above that I'm going to put a skinny rectangle and then I'm going to draw a baby rectangle above that. Now I'm going to cap each one of these so I put a little triangle, straight line, triangle in a circle at the top, straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. Come on the middle part, draw me a little triangle on the left, little triangle on the right, straight line down, straight line down, connect. If you can, straight line up, curve line over, straight line connect on the bottom one, and if you can, straight line, curve line, straight line connect. You'll see how this all works in a minute. Now above these lines I'm going to go one, two, three baby circles on the left, jump over, one, two baby circles on the right. Right about here I'm going to draw a straight line down, connect, straight line out, straight line all the way down until it connects on the right. Jump over to the left, we're going to do the same thing starting out here. Straight line down, straight line across, straight line down until it connects. Come back to the top on the right and draw a skinny rectangle on the right skinny rectangle on the left, little straight line, straight line, straight line on the right, little straight line, straight line on the left. So you can see these are very symmetrical. Pretty much what you do on the left you're going to do on the right. Now I'm going to come down about three-fourths of the way and I'm going to draw five triangles. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Then underneath I'm going to draw five rectangles. One, two, three, four, five. Then underneath there I'm going to add a skinny line underneath and if you can fit it a skinny line on the top. And then if I can line it up, I'm going to draw five more skinny rectangles going across. Keep going. And I'm going to draw another, starting on the left, going towards the right, another skinny line across. Then right in the center, I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down. And next to that I'm going to draw a little straight line down, straight line over, straight line down on the right. Jump over, 
straight line, straight line, straight line down on the left. Now I'm going to draw another straight line going towards the right, jump over, connect, starting on the left, jump over, connect. I come all the way down back to the center and I'm going to draw one, two, three straight lines and just draw a straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right. Now I come in on this middle bottom line and I draw all the way across towards the right, jump over, all the way across on the left. Inside my rectangle right here I'm going to draw a straight line across and I'm going to put one, two, three baby rectangles on the left, one, two, three baby rectangles on the right. Now if I can I'm going to line up some more skinny rectangles, one, two, on the left, one, two, on the right. I know that's a lot of skinny rectangles. Now you're going to draw a lot of straight lines. All of these houses have all these teeny tiny little windows. You can see it best on these. So you draw one, two, one, two, one, two, straight lines in each rectangle. Keep going. If you can't fit them in, it's okay. But that gives you some idea of how many little tiny windows going across they would have. So you're going to draw one, two, one, two on all of these rectangles. These are all windows. Keep going. Then, once you've got all the verticals, you come back in and you try and draw at least four horizontal lines. I can only fit three. That's okay. I will live. Going all the way across. So one window rectangle would have almost 16 little teeny tiny windows inside. This is definitely the only time you'll see this is on the colonial houses up in the northern English part. Or the northern part, sorry. All the way down. Keep going. This one looks almost black because I made them too thick, but that's okay. There's no mistakes in art. Keep going all the way across. So, very, very symmetrical. Very, very going to be very much on the left, on the right. Now, I come down to the middle part and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and now I cross these also. One, two. And these right here are like little um, sculptures, so I'm just going to go wibble wobble, wibble wobble, connect on the left, wibble wobble, wibble wobble, connect on the right. I'm going to add one more line going across, connect, jump over, going across towards the right. Let me see if that's everything. I think it is. We're ready to color. Okay, the colonists kept everything pretty simple when they put their things together. Down here at the very bottom is green, because that's about the only lawn part they had. Up above, they had a little bit of walk space, so I'm going to make that apricot or a light brown down here at the bottom. And then, almost the whole entire thing is brick. So we're going to put a darker brown on the very bottom bottom. All of these things that are structural elements I'm coloring all with this kind of reddish brown because the whole entire thing is brick. So the, work your way up in between all the windows until you come to this part. Okay? These are chimneys. These should be that reddish brown brick. And now we're going to switch over to gray. The little triangles, I'm going to do darker gray. These elements, I'm going to do dark gray. Whoops, I forgot. This should be the dark brick brown going across. And basically, if it's not gray or it's not brick, it's white. So they 
left a lot of their uh, decoration was white so this should all be gray and your little tower window thing at the top should be gray also now because this is pretty much neutral colors except for the little bit of green I did a real bright blue for the background Okay. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my colonial house that you would find in the northern colonies, up in New England colonies, all colored in. Okay, bye-bye.